Hello, Redditors of the Internet, Noble not here, and welcome to our Slash Nice Girls Part 5. Yes, it's back. Let's get started. Women that say things like this are basically the same as guys that say girls only date jerks that will walk all over them. It's because men can't handle a woman being as good or better than them. They have to go for a girl who is bland so they feel better about themselves. Or maybe you're saying things like that so that you can feel better about yourself. This next one's titled, She's One Hell of a Girl, I'm Sure. You're gonna regret losing me. I am one hell of a girl. I had so much love in my heart. I was always so patient. I wanted to work this out no matter what it took. You will never find someone like me who will put up with your hot and cold personality. But this is good for me. I can finally and hopefully find someone who will love me properly. And the nice girl apparently forgot to change accounts. OMG, that's exactly how I feel. He will always be empty and incapable of love. We will find people that are so kind to us. Although it's possible that she just replied to another comment. Doesn't really change much, though. Y'all really don't know what a good, loyal bee y'all got till she's gone. Yet she was mean to most of the guys who would talk to her in high school and even yelled at her boyfriend for hugging his best friend who was a girl, and she knew they were good friends. Hmm, not so good after all. This next one's titled, She Got Way Too Much Positive Reinforcement As A Kid. Confession number 612. I keep attracting nerds. I'm a nerd magnet. Only boys with hunchbacks, glasses, bad smell keep coming to me. And I'm hot and pretty as so many people are telling me this. I literally get compliments all the time about how hot my body is, how well I dress, how pretty my face is. Also, I'm a bit athletic. A bit? I even wear brands and everything. But no, I keep attracting nerds who know nothing about real life and they only talk about studying, books, physics, math, and programming, who are unable to have a normal conversation about normal life. What is wrong with me? And it looks like a lot of people reacted by laughing. For this next one, check out this gem I stumbled upon Meet Me. Do not judge me, I will delete negatives I may want a lot in a guy, but I'm a good person at heart. Please get to know me. And, yep, a huge list of requirements. Introduce yourself. Name, age, where you live. Around my age and area only. Someone who works nights. Someone which is patient with me and have all the time in the world with me. Guys that don't smoke cigarettes, weed, any kind of smoking, and does drugs. That don't have tattoos or piercings. That don't have kids. I have reasons why. That don't have no more than one job only. That don't play video games. Any kind of game. Sports, anime, comics. I have reasons. Yeah, don't play comics, guys. I like guys who are sweetheart, kind-hearted, loving, romantic, and a gentleman. I like guys who are kind of nerdist and weird. I want a guy who likes food like Mexican and sushi. I want someone who will accept me for me and treats me how I want to be treated. Also, someone who is willing to give me their all and pay a lot of attention to me, that has a lot of time for me, spoils me, and would do anything and everything for me, and that's gonna be my best friend and soulmate, and that tells me everything and anything, even secretive or something that shouldn't be told, but would tell me anyways. Who likes sushi so much you had to mention it twice? Hello, what's up? How are you? Stuff like that, I will not respond to that. Hello, beautiful, gorgeous, pretty, sexy, hot. I will not respond to that. Introduce yourself and actually make a conversation. I don't like being hit on. I want to be respected. I want a guy that can put me first than anybody else and himself. That's allowed to text at work. Who's going to text me right away? I am a jealousy type, so I don't like guys who check out other females while being together. I like guys to message back right away. Good luck trying to find a guy who meets all those requirements. Also, you say you want to have a conversation, and at the same time, you're putting out these massive lists. This next one says, can't find the original person who did this, but facts. Me happily going to sleep every night knowing he missed out on a genuine good girl who would have done everything and anything for him. Take that L, you lose. Sorry, but you're the only one who took an L here by getting on r slash nice girls. And for this next one, I sent that to here as a joke because it's something she'd say. If yo man cheats on you, boil water. Let it boil, boil, and boil as the water continues to boil. Wait for him to fall asleep. When you're very sure he's asleep, make some tea and drink it. Tea reduces stress. And for you crazy girls who thought I was going to say throw it on him, get help. And the nice or crazy girl says, damn, I would throw it on him and then proceed to make tea. You need help. Yes, I do. I really hope you're joking, honestly. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. You think I'm joking? For this next one, I like the quote that reminded me of myself, but now 
I get things like this all over my Pinterest. Oh boy, the algorithm's going crazy again. She is a paradox. She is faithful and yet detached. She is committed and yet relaxed. She loves everyone and yet no one. She is sociable but also a loner. She is gentle and yet tough. She is passionate but can also be platonic. In short, she is predictable in her unpredictability. This next one asks, what the hell do men want? I'm a college grad, good job, own a place and a car, in shape and can't find anyone, while my sister's a little chunky, unemployed, college dropout, pregnant and have a revolving door of men. Alright, moving on. Girl, please tell me you're kidding. I just realized I'm never gonna have a boyfriend. Everyone is just too ugly and can't measure up to my flaming hot body. I just have a dump truck of an ass and a Kevin Hart personality. Everybody sucks and I'm just better than everyone. Don't don't worry though, I'm just gonna keep going through it. I really do hope she's kidding. It sounds like she could be, but who knows with these nice girls. And now, so this random nice girl added me on snap and got mad cause I said oh nice to the picture she sent me. Nice girl says, I sent a picture of myself, you don't say nice, you're supposed to say cute or something, no wonder why you men suck cause you can't even speak correctly to us women. What the hell? You're not entitled to a compliment? Never thought I'd meet an r slash nice girl. And who are you to dictate exactly what men are supposed to say? And this one's for the OP, I kinda pulled an r slash I have read it there. Wait a minute, so did I. Uh oh. Anyway, let's just move on. Sis, you post 10 stories a day, who the hell cares? I can't keep hiding this anymore. I always try to look my best for everybody because I want people to like me, but instead people talk bad about me behind my back. This is not fair. I want people to think I'm really nice, but instead people think I'm spoiled, irresponsible, ugly, worthless, mean, and I'm not like that. Every day I always think, will they like this? I've been doing everything wrong. I shouldn't care what people think about me, but it haunts me. And I don't like when people talk bad about me behind my back, and I want to be the best for every person, but I always feel like I never fit in with any friend group. If someone could at least say you look good today, that would mean the world to me. I shouldn't need the approval of someone else who doesn't define who I am and what I look like. I should think of myself like the person I want to be. I just can't when everybody's bringing me down. And a comment here, I think this girl needs to talk this over in therapy instead of a Snapchat story. A common issue now. We go to Twitter. Women should be financially taken care of in a relationship. Your woman shouldn't have to worry about paying a damn thing. If you can't afford to take care of a woman completely, don't date or pursue a woman until you can. The woman is the prize. Pay for it. Are you objectifying yourself? And now we have a nice girl sister posing as an entitled mom to flame me and my girlfriend because I broke up with her cheating nice girl sister. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, it's Mother here, and I must say I'm pretty disappointed in what happened between all of you. You used to be such great friends, and yeah, I get there are two sides to every story, in this case three sides, LMAO. Anyway, thanks for my daughter back, even broken like she's still a badass little mama and amazing to be around for the two of you. All I can say is, oh wow, and remember, whatever you dish out comes back to you tenfold. Good day. You say good day, but you just left me confused. This next one was originally posted on r slash not like the other girls, but was told it fit in here better. Y'all, I'm literally dead. Added this chick, met her before she was drinking and clearly didn't remember me. She inboxes me and asks, do I know you? No, I'm sure you don't know the 2,996 sausages slinging at you either. Females kill me. Y'all don't want to be friends with stable Christian women, just thirsty men and wonder why y'all disrespected and get hit on all the time? Just dead. Cancel requests. Honey, bye. And now we got nice girls calling other women females too? Whoa, looks like someone here dodged a bullet. One day, five years from now, we're gonna be in town at the same time for summer break, and we're gonna see each other, and I'm gonna be over it. I'll have finally moved on and be happy. And you? You're gonna see me smile and regret everything you did. You missed the best thing that could ever go your way, and you don't even know it. But you'll realize, nah, I'm just gonna be laughing at your post. When guys push me away, it's like, wow, good luck getting with someone who will cheat on you, shatter your heart, and make you hate relationships. Good luck. For this next one, it's titled, I refuse to hook up with the bearded guys. Now, having preferences is fine, everyone has them. 
But saying stuff like this makes you a nice girl. I refuse to hook up with the bearded guys because I know they're all uggos hiding in their invisible chins and I really hate giving fake compliments. Don't know how their parents raised them and didn't correct the mouth breathing at a young age. It's lame as hell, bro. So is she assuming that all guys with beards are neck beards? Because that's obviously not the case. If you're not attracted to beards, that's fine, but don't go out saying things like this. This next one looks like she really doesn't like video games. For all you boys, you need to stop spending time on your Xbox or PS4 and start thinking about your girl and the way she feels when you leave her on red and delivered for hours because as soon as she leaves you on red and stuff for hours, you will break down thinking you've done something which you actually have because you're so invested in your Xbox and PS4. You don't have any time for your girl. You want to say you want to give her the world, but then you're sitting there playing your computer and stuff and it makes the girl feel like crap because you're always playing video games and stuff because it will affect her so boys think about what you're doing to be fair if your man would rather play it than reply to you you clearly just annoy the life out of him so get you a man who replies at the same time Girls that react like this to you being on PlayStation, red flags everywhere. Now, if he is playing games all day, every day, ignoring everyone around him, yeah, that's a problem. But if he just wants an hour or two of alone time and he chooses to play video games, then you're overblowing it. And we go to Facebook for this next one. I had a therapy session today, and my therapist said something to me that hit different. She said, you're always the girl to be a guy's best friend or friend, but never their girlfriend. Well, sounds like the therapist is either a nice girl herself or pointing out a pattern about the nice girl's statements. Pointing out in a nicer way that she may be a nice girl. Hard pill to swallow. I'm always the nice, understanding, cooperative, supportive girl and either get friend zoned or I do the friend zoning because guys always want the really toxic, manipulative, crazy, insecure girls and I'm more friend material so they can use me as their punching bag to vent to or confide in because I'm the supportive girlfriend and I have a very low tolerance for being treated as an option so instead of just cutting them off because I developed their bond or feelings, I'd rather keep them in my life as a friend and still love them and support them from a platonic friend standpoint and an upside down face. For this next one, saw this after a woman posted, I created an OnlyFans account without telling my boyfriend and now he's mad, what should I do? And the comment on Facebook, if he's not mad enough to step up and provide for you, then leave him. He should support you financially and you should make your own money and save it. This is a manipulation tactic men use to keep us dependent on them. Yet you're suggesting using him for his money, which is, you guessed it, a manipulation tactic. This next one asks, am I the a-hole for kissing my friend's brother without his consent during a truth or dare? Well, considering you did it without consent, I'd say you're the a-hole, but let's read and find out more information. Yesterday, I was supposed to spend the night in my friend's house with some of my classmates and we were playing truth or dare. There really is no reason for us to choose truth since we already know a lot about each other, so we mostly just went with dares. It was pretty fun and we had some weird challenges. I was staying next to my friend's brother and when it was my turn, a classmate challenged me to kiss him. His sister immediately told my friend to change the dare and so she did. To be clear, her brother did not say anything when he heard the dare and just laughed, so he definitely looked like he was okay with it, right? Well, wrong, because after I kissed him, he told me, what the hell are you doing? And looked like he was really grossed out by it. I was honestly a bit offended and asked him why he's so grossed by me kissing him. I'm actually a pretty okay looking girl, and even if I wasn't, there was no reason for him to act like this. He ended up leaving the game, and my friend told me that what I did was wrong on so many levels and to get out of her house. My other classmates didn't say anything, so I think they were on my side, but didn't want to participate in this argument. I will ask them when they go back home. Anyway, I did end up leaving. Do you guys think I was the a-hole here? And his sister even changed the dare. And this nice girl even made edits to the thread asking not to be called an a-hole because her friend could find out about the post. Or maybe she just didn't want to be known as an a-hole. This next one's titled, I gave someone mental issues. Whoops. You're mentioned in his Insta story, but I'm mentioned in his therapy sessions. We are not the same, sis. And you think that's a good thing? Hey. Hello. I saw your thing on Omegle and you're really hot. Ah, thank you. No problem. You got a girlfriend? I do, actually. 
Oh, honestly, you look a little gay. And now another tweet. So like, why doesn't anyone want me? Like, I'm loyal AF. I'll spoil the hell out of you and I'll love you till the end of MF and time. People really be looking for someone special and I'm just like, hello, are you blind? I'm literally everything you've ever wanted. Like, are you blind or... And for this last one, does this fit? Just happened and I'm assuming it was some sort of scam. Hi, well I know we don't know each other and I promise I'm not a creep or anything. If you have to promise you're not a creep, then you're probably a creep. I'm a teaching student from France, and I'm curious about the world and how diverse it can be and would like to travel more, so I wonder if you would like to be my pen pal? It does not have to be via letters, it can be strictly online, I don't mind. I truly hope to hear back from you, and I would not mind delayed replies. I know we all get busy, have a lovely day. And then, can you respond to my message please? And the OP replies, Hey, sorry for the delay, but I'll have to pass, thanks for reaching out. And the nice girl or scammer or catfish or whoever it may be replies, you're disgusting and blocked. And remember guys, good women do still exist, but her stomachs ain't flat and we talk back. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Benjamins, TKOAS, Jen Voir, Spoonie the Rogue, Seth Southwell, and Fear the Cannibal. You can join in a link below and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.